Hey everybody, Soda Hunter here. I'm in Greenville, South Carolina, and we're in a hat. <laughs> a little different, but uh, perk of the job. Yeah, this is my uh, uh, woke up somewhere and had to be somewhere and couldn't get a shower because of it. Hat, basically. <laughs> that's code for, I haven't had a shower yet. The perk of the job, that's, that's being a trucker. Sometime, some of these guys get three or four days without it, not me. A day and a half most for me. I, <laughs> call me whatever you want to, truckers, but day and a half at most for me. Um, today I have a thing, a, a soda that I found at a my local Winn Dixie, which is a marketplace. Uh, some people, uh, I think they've already wiped out the Winn Dixie. I think it might just be a southern thing that it's Winn Dixie. Uh, it might just be southern. I don't know. I don't. I don't know the details about Winn Dixie. But anyway, it's called a Flying Cauldron. Butterscotch beer it says non-alcoholic on it. Butterscotch beer, cream soda. Now, what is it? Is it butterscotch beer? Or is it butterscotch cream soda? It says both right there on the front. I don't know. Whatever it is, it looks looks interesting though, doesn't it? Look at that. Flying cauldron. I don't know why it's called that. Uh, I, I see a lot of things on Twitter like Harry Potter would love this soda. I'm like. I don't, does Harry Potter drink butterscotch soda? I don't follow that crap. <laughs> no offense if you do. If you're into it, you're into it. To me, not my thing. Okay. Uh, ingredients. Purified carbonated water, cane sugar, vanilla extract, natural caramel, natural flavors, stevia. Ugh, I don't know about that. Dairy free. Gluten free. I don't see any uh, preservatives. So that's interesting. No preservatives that I see. 100% natural. There might be hope for this if it wasn't for that stevia root. Uh, what is it? Stevia, whatever that word is, leaf extract. Rabadiana? Rabadiana? You can't read that, can you? Rabadiana? Whatever. Um, it looks looks good. Look how. Look at the uh, color on it. It looks really good. Really crisp. So, there's your cap. Right here. Let's see if I can get the light right. There you go. Neat looking cap. Unique. Twist off so I get to save it. Uh, nothing underneath. Just, there's your cap. Alright, I smell the butterscotch from here. That's, I haven't had a butterscotch soda, so that's really interesting with uh, the smell. It smells like a Weather's Original, you know? <laughs> smells really good. There could be hope for this. I've never had it. Um, I've heard it's pretty good. So, you know, let's see. That's a lot of butterscotch. Man, that's a lot of butterscotch. That's a liquefied one of those original. That's incredibly sweet. I, I think I get a little bit of the aftertaste with the stevia, but it's hard to distinguish that from the butterscotch because the butterscotch is so overpowering. Um, I like butterscotch as much as the next person, but man. <laughs> that is really unique to me. I'm not used to drinking a butterscotch. Um... It's not bad by any means. It, it tastes really good, but it's so powerful as far as the butterscotch goes. It's just, man. Um, as far as the carbonation level goes, it's good. It's got a good crisp uh, taste to it. It's a little weaker than I want it to be. I want it to burn a little more going down the back of my throat, but it's a... Uh, it's not bad as far as that goes. It's, it, on that level of like uh, the high acidity, the low acidity, one to ten, is probably about a five or a six somewhere in there. Uh, I prefer eight, nine, ten in that range, but uh, it goes down fairly smooth as far as that goes. That butterscotch, man, it uh, that takes over. Um. A little bit of an aftertaste. Uh, I, 
can't tell if I'm tasting stevia or if I'm tasting butterscotch. I think for the most part I'm tasting butterscotch because the stevia is the last ingredient on here, which means there's a lot more uh, cane sugar, vanilla, natural caramel. There's a lot more of that stuff in here than there is stevia. So I'm thinking that the stevia is probably not what I'm tasting. I'm probably tasting butterscotch. And it's weird because our aftertaste is kind of similar, which I didn't expect. <laughs> I didn't expect not to be able to distinguish. Is this butterscotch or is this stevia I'm tasting? Um, but that's not bad. you got to really like butterscotch. If you don't like a Werther's Original or something like that, don't pick that up. You're not. That's going to be disgusting to you. Um, it's a liquefied carbonated butterscotch candy is what that is. And if you do like butterscotch, though, that's... That's going to be right up your alley. The more I drink it, the more I'm getting used to the butterscotch, obviously. That happens with most things. When you drink it immediately, it's really overpowering. And then the more you drink it, the more it kind of takes away the edge of the, uh, of the flavor. So it's getting better as I'm drinking it. So uh, I'm not going to have any problem finishing this. It's really good. It's just those first few sips. Wow. <laughs> Butterscotch. I was like, <laughs> um, so, uh, I got, like I said, I got that at a, uh, my local Winn-Dixie, and uh, it could be at a marketplace. I think they're the same company. Um, if you see those, pick those up. If you like Butterscotch, you're not going to be disappointed with it. Uh, I get no artificial taste to it. Like I said, I really don't think I'm tasting that, Steve. I really think the aftertaste is the Butterscotch. And it doesn't stick around too long. You might get the aftertaste for about 30 seconds to a minute afterwards, and then it's gone. I don't have a feeling I'll be uh, tasting butterscotch for the next four or five hours like some other sodas I've had. Um, but it's pretty good. And if you like butterscotch, go get it. Um, if you like this video, follow me on Twitter at soda underscore hunter. Facebook.com slash soda hunter Kevin. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment. Have you had those? I know uh, a couple of my friends have had those before, and they actually showed them to me and uh, went out and picked it up. It was a while ago, but it takes a while to do these. I got a lot of sodas in line. Um, but let me know if you've had one of these before. Talk about it in the comments. Uh, family friendly, please. And uh, until next time, happy hunting.